Well, clearly the majority of the people picked the Escada fragrance because kind of that's the one I'm excited about as well. I don't know shit about Escada fragrances. Really, I've maybe smelled one in the past 20 some odd years. So let's roll my motherfucking music so we can unbox one of the fragrances that I got in the hall, which is Escada Sentiment. <laughs> kind of a big Bless him, one of my beautiful people. You know who it is. It's your boy. See to you to be today. Escada sentiment. Very inexpensive. Don't remember what I paid for it, but I got it from Max Aroma. And it was really dirt cheap. All these fragrances were fairly inexpensive. I know they were holding some sort of sale, so I kind of just took advantage of that shit. So Escada Sentiment. I did Google some stuff prior to purchasing the fragrance, and it seems semi-interesting, but usually notes can throw you every which way, so it really doesn't fucking matter what it says. It's kind of just about the smell. Now, this is retro as fuck presentation if I've ever seen one. Look at this joint. It's like some geometric arrow type shit. Very funky looking bottle. Very cool actually looking. Very throwback art deco-ish. It just feels late 80s, early 90s type vibes. I don't know when this fragrance came out, but it's all about the juice, right? So let's find out if the juice is worth the squeeze and then we'll look up some notes and see what's what. Hopefully it's good. I, I love little discovery. Uh, this is not... If it's a tight cap and you don't have a good grip on it, this shit will cut the fuck out of you. Hopefully we tapped into an undiscovered gem, you know what I'm saying, for the low, which I always enjoy looking for a nice cheapy when it's pretty decent. So Escada Sentiment, here we go. Not bad. Slightly basic bitchish, but it does have a unique quality in it though. Hmm. It's actually not bad. Oh, it's definitely switching up. This isn't, that's actually not bad at all. It's sweet, it's musky. It's very clean, bright, very versatile, meaning kind of like a daily wear or signature scent type smell. Leans a little bit warmer weather. I'm kind of liking this. Let me try it on skin. I don't know. It's not super complicated, but it's not bad. All right, there's a strong chemical opening there. Obviously, I'm all up in there, so I'm gonna get that. So let me give it a second. Now, while I'm letting it, while I'm letting it air out, let me look up the notes. The notes are listed as juniper berry, lime, pink pepper, nutmeg, sandalwood, cedar, and vetiver. This isn't that bad. Again, it's not groundbreaking or something absolutely phenomenal, but it is very fun. And I do get the vetiver and spiciness, but there is a nice freshness here and a playfulness that I'm really enjoying. Like it does kind of smell slightly dated, but trust me, it really has a fun attribute to it that's kind of uplifting and energizing. It feels somewhat in the space, if I were to compare it to anything kind of throwback-ish, in the Clinique happy kind of space. It's not there and it's not that scent, but it's the closest thing in my brain that I can kind of feel like it's time appropriate to Clinique happy as well as scent profile appropriate as well. Kind of in that bubble, but they're not clones or they're not the same. I don't know, this is kind of intriguingly fun. Sometimes you don't have to go absolutely ape shit crazy to find the fragrance that just works for your nose, just makes you happy, makes you want to wear it, makes you enthusiastic a bit, and this is kind of doing that for me. I'm battling with the fact that it is slightly basic-ish, but that doesn't mean that it's a bad fragrance. On the contrary, the fact that it's basic and it's intriguing me such does make it a ball sprayer. I really like this fragrance. I'm actually not capping. I'm probably gonna be daily wearing this joint. I mean, it's not bad at all for the summertime. This could be actually quite enjoyable. Honestly, this can be an easy gym scent, chill white t-shirt and short scent, work office safe scent. It's a very versatile fragrance with non-offensive qualities. Yeah, ball sprayer it is. Not too much to think about. I like it, I like it. 
I'm like here trying to justify why I like it or trying to find an excuse to shit on it, but I can't. Very fun, very playful, not expensive at all. Escada sentiment. Hey, this might be for somebody, including myself. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Listen, I find this to be a fun discovery. Let me know what you guys think and have you smelled this fragrance before and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game. Smooches. Cubano, 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 Cubano. What's fresh? Who is best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Cubano. With a fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>